Hey guys, Mauro here. Um, I'm gonna talk today. I wanted to talk about uh, what I call the flamingo hitting, which is when you're hitting that forehand, uh, pretty much putting your weight on the right leg, which is something that um, Federer does a lot, uh, Nadal, well, pretty much all the players do. But there are times when you're supposed to do it, and there are times when you really don't want to do it. Um, it is something that can really help you generate a lot of a lot of power on that forehand because when your lower body stays and the upper body goes, you're using the you're using the the kinetic chain, you know, starting from the ground from from your legs, like um, baseball players, you know, like catchers, like football players throwing the ball, like boxers throwing a punch. So that is something that can really um, that is something that can really help you generate um, power let's see in this point here um, starting four hands there pay attention to that right leg and we're gonna go through it again okay there's go the first one flamingo see he's staying Pretty much along the baseline there, not really running a lot. That's a good time to do that. If you run around the ball, you don't really want to do that. Not as not as much as you can do it from the uh, if you're in the middle of the court, let's say. Like in that position is much better and is much easier. See, so he lets that lead lock go until after contact. That's a very important part. He loads the legs, hits flamingo there and he, and he lets that uh, he lets the right leg go pay attention how he gets ready with the goalkeeper position he extends to separates those legs see on that one he let the, 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 the legs he doesn't do it as much because that's uh, uh, running around the ball flamingo again pay attention to the position of the legs the goalkeeper position you want to separate them enough because that's going to help you load the body load with your legs there he goes again He's not moving too much. That's why he can get in that position. When you have to take a lot of steps and you really have to move a lot, you don't wanna you don't wanna try that. Especially if you're moving forward or wide, quickly or rushing. Perfect timing, all the time in the world. So he does it. Lower body stays, upper body goes, and he generates a lot of power there. He's running around that ball, but he has plenty of time. But still, you see that right leg doesn't really doesn't really stay on the ground because he's moving forward. When you move forward, you don't want to do you don't want to do that. Now, I wanted I wanted to pay attention. You got you guys to pay attention here. How the leg stays? It's all about the rotation. Pay attention to his to his right shoulder starting uh, behind him, starting behind and coming all the way around forward. That's exactly what it does. It's just the generation. Now you're gonna see Nadal. He does it when he moves. He's on the base. He's far back, so he can do it. As soon as he moves forward, he's not really gonna hit on that leg, and then he goes back to it. That that will be his left leg that we're paying attention here. Rublev is a kind of player that he he uses more the left leg. That's what I call which leg is the anchor. When you flamingo hit the ball, your anchor is the right leg. He uses the left the left leg more like a, like an anchor. See. He doesn't really hit that ball with his weight on the right leg, but he still has a really good forehand, though. Left leg again, that's the anchor. Left leg again, that's the anchor. Left leg again. He, but the good thing is he doesn't rotate that right leg to the front too much, so he can generate. Even though he's not leaning towards his right leg, he can generate a lot of a lot of a lot of power. You see there when when Federer hits that that right leg is where he's he that's where he's putting his weight on, so the lower body stays and the upper body goes. That is something that you want to pay attention when you don't when you don't hit flamingo style. Watch out with that right leg coming too far around. See, he's far back, so his leg the, he can hit flamingo flamingo and and that and that and his left leg 
he's going to lean on the left leg and when he's done he lets go but he doesn't finish that fast that much forward now he moves forward more towards the baseline so that leg is going to end up a little more in the front when he's done like i said when you're moving forward yes you transfer you're, you're hitting leg forward see he fi he finished it and he transferred that right leg forward but not that far to the front because that means that your whole body your both your lower body and your upper body is going to be transferred the weight you don't want to do that pay attention to boxers uh catchers to football players how they throw the ball and you're not going to see the whole body turning flamingo on that one he's got time to move back he settles and goes you're gonna see the first shot you don't wanna you don't wanna hit that ball leaning on your right leg unless you have all the time in the world but still i really don't i did you don't suggest that you wanna you wanna open your body because obviously most of the times you, you run around you're gonna go for that cross court shot so you don't wanna you don't wanna have the, your stance your chest to open you gotta be turning a little bit to the to your right hand side in order to aim for the for the cross court corner now he's moving towards it towards the, the the middle of the court and he's gonna and he's gonna have more time to hit that ball he has to step back a little bit probably one or two steps but you can tell that he has time to get in position and that's it that's important part usually flamingo you hit flamingo when you don't have to move too much when that ball is coming more or less where you're standing you just have to take probably one or two or three steps not rushing but you have time to 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 get in position and and when 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 you hit the ball when you swing that's when you, you you're gonna have your weight transfer or you're gonna have your weight on that right leg right there okay is coming there and then after contact you're gonna see how he releases that leg ev eventually see but he doesn't let that right leg come too far around or too early the important part you don't want to let it come around you too early like when you're making contact All right, guys. Uh, well, that's it. I hope you like it, and uh, I'll I'll see you next time. Thank you.